Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is a momentous occasion. Episode 60. So, uh, let's see. Where did we leave off last? I notice we don't have any wars. That's, that's good. Doesn't happen very often. And, um, I'm playing as the retard. I'm gonna, I just always think of him as the, uh, <clears throat> as the retard because he, he's craven. I, I mean, he's improved slightly since I took over as him, but... You know, he's, he's content, which is weak. He's craven. I think I made I did make him gregarious and just at some point. But trusting is foolish, makes you easier to plot against. I'm a poor fighter. I am a reformer. Well, I guess that's good. Decent diplomacy education. We're just, we're just a, um, what's it called? Pencil pusher. We're, we're a guy sitting at a desk. We can't step outside because we might get you know, blown over by the wind. Uh, one thing I saw, which is kind of neat, is that we are starting to see some English conversion. We've got English up here, got English right here. It's kind of hard to see, because if I zoom all the way in, uh, it goes away and shows the actual names of the counties, but right right there it says English, and then of course my, cap my capital is English. So, you know, we're starting to see some, some culture conversion, which is good. Now, if I remember correctly, I've still got that weak claim on the Kingdom of France, so we need to see what we can do about getting rid of France here. My uncle. Am I currently plotting against him? No, I'm trying to kill my firstborn son. <laughs> that does sound like something I'd try to do. Uh, let's forget about that for a second and check out England or uh, France here. Two supporters. You know, it'd be great if we could bribe just... One more person. And if not, he is a king, so... How much would it cost to actually assassinate you? I think 250 gold? 350. Wow. Well, we might start spending money on that soon. Uh, when he dies... Oh, I know. Here's an idea. <coughs> Maybe... I mean, he's 54, and he's stressed. He does have the skilled fighter and misguided warrior bonuses to offset that minus health penalty from being stressed. But still, he's 54, so he should die sometime in the next two decades. And I'm only 33, so he'll, he'll predecease me. So what if instead of killing him, we just execute his firstborn son? Let's check out the line of succession here in France. It goes Garnier to Roger. Garnier's probably... His Firstborn, Rogers is secondborn, and then is it Bartholome the third? Yeah. So these guys are twenty and sixteen, and then he's got an even younger one, and that guy, that one looks like a bastard. Is that legitimized bastard? Nope, regular bastard. Well, if I start executing some of his sons, who, not his, not my son, his sons. This guy's unlanded, so he should be a lot easier to murder, potentially, and there should be more people willing to kill him, like, say, the people beneath him in the succession. So if we start murdering off his sons, it's essentially the same thing as murdering off him, except that it should be easier to accomplish. So we'll murder off his firstborn, secondborn, and maybe even the thirdborn son to get him down to where he just has the bastard hopefully put him in a position where he has to legitimize the bastard just to keep his succession. Once he's done that, I will be able to press my weak claim against the boy. Assuming that I can kill these all these people relatively quickly. And I'm not going to invite all of them, but maybe some. Now, I am kind of in a... I, you know, what's funny, I've, I've, I've barely even played, not even 80 years yet. Two more years from now, we'll be at 80 years in. And I want to try to wrap this Let's Play up, like, before The Old Gods comes out, but I feel like, man, it's taking, uh, it's taking a long time. I've been playing a lot, pushing out at least five episodes a day, usually six or seven, and still, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this Let's Play before The Old Gods comes out. So if The Old Gods come out and I'm still playing this, I might have to put this on hold because I do want to play The Old, Sco old Gods, like, right away. But um, let's... Let's take a little break from murdering the uh, pagans 
and focus on murdering some Christians. So we're going to murder the boys. I also have a claim on the earldom of something. Might as well attack him. We have raised levies. That is a retinue. Okay. Disband that guy. I refuse to black your Oh, I must have invited people to another plot right before I right before I started playing again. So that'd be the only reason they'd say no. Oh yeah, the other thing I need to spend my money on right now is the um I need to fill out my retinue. And I want those archers. Let's keep buying archers. Uh-oh, France wants something. <laughs> oh, sure, sure, I'll help you out. I'm not murdering, I'm not planning to murder all your sons or anything. I'm totally on your side. All right, medium city levies. That's, that's interesting. Fantastic. Come on, come on, come on. Apparently we've got a archer retinue in that army as well. So head over there. And... Oh, that's interesting. French claim on Claremont. What? Okay. Why are we hostile with him? Apparently... Do you control that land? He does. Wow, what a weird, weird situation. So can I declare war on him again? I don't think I can. Huh. I hope I don't get a truce timer. I don't think I will. It's not my war. I mean, he's going to win, like, right away. And since we're hostile with him, we might as well go ahead and raise our levies and then just go plop them down there, weaken the castle a bit. We'll disband most of the, of the levies, though, because we're... Kind of pissing some people off, I think. Vassals raised too long. Yeah. <laughs> Minus 67. No big deal. He still likes me. Well, that's good. <coughs> okay. All right. More stewardship. Fulfilled our ambition. Excellent. We want to increase the size of our domain, or improve intrigue, or martial, or amass wealth. I could get one more easy stewardship if I did this. I'd kind of like to get 25 state intrigues, so that I could get that master assassin, or whatever it's called, modifier. If we just appoint a better spy master, indeed we can. We'll replace that guy. Now we're at 20. We only need three more intrigue to do that, so. Just in case I decide to assassinate that king later. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Ooh, my son wants to be Marshal. Is this the firstborn son? Sir Henry. No, it's my second born, the tall one, the one that I want to play as. Yeah, sure, we'll let you be Marshall, since you want it. Man, he's, he's every bit the boy I should have been. Look at this man. He's a poor fighter, but he is a knight. Cruel, brave, wroth. He's shy, which is surprising. But he's a brilliant strategist, 21 Marshall already at a fifth, age 15. He's gone and... I probably did that. I for, I've forgotten. Anyway, um, yeah, so how about you? What did I have the previous marshal doing? I've already forgotten. I was probably researching military tech somewhere. Anything near level 2? Not really. We do have heavy armor to level 2, which... Military organization. I would like the idea of more retinue. Plus that global supply limit would be pretty monstrous. Let's focus on that for a second. And research 
tech there. How long will it take us to get that to level to 23% a year? Pretty decent. Okay. I need an ambition, that's right. Do I want to start trying to get up to the level of Emperor? Or perhaps trying to take over the Holy Roman Emperor Empire? Hmm. Let's work on Intrigue for now. Let's try to get that up. That could help out with that assassination. Because I think I'll be able to murder the boys. I don't think I'll have any challenge really with that. But I think I'm going to have to probably pay to assassinate the King of France. And I know my tendency. I'm, I'm going to get impatient and I'm not going to want to wait for him to die. I'm just going to want to throw some money at the problem. And make him go away. So yeah, I did misread it in the, um, okay, apparently that war is over already. I did re misread the wealthy ruler thing. You have to have either 150 annual income or 100 gold. And so you need to have, I don't know, I don't know. I think you need to have both, but I do distinctly remember seeing one time I think we had like 500 gold and less than an, a certain amount of income and we still had it. It's confusing. You just don't worry about it. It's not important. Let's just use this button. Stand down, men. And hopefully we don't have a truce timer with this guy for that thing. Nope. We can claim that. Maybe it would have been better to choose the increase the size of my domain ambition because we're about to do that. Let's put there again. select everything over here, expand, and yeah, part of the problem is that it doesn't select everything. Seems to be a, a limit to the number of units that you can select at once. It wasn't always that way. You can just go ahead and surrender already, buddy. You've, you've got no army. You've killed it all. Can you usurp the chief the chiefdom of Lithuania, which is this, currently held by this guy. I believe I have a truce timer with him. Actually, it looks like I don't. So we'll just attack him over it. I'm not going to pay for it. Same thing with this one. Although it is just 100 gold. It's not much. I could spend 100 gold, gain 66 prestige, and just be done with it, and then use the war truce timer on some other land that this guy holds, like, say, this. Or I could attack him over the duchy, save myself the gold, still get the 100 prestige for winning a war. Hmm. I think for the sake of quicker realm expansion, it'd be better to spend the money. So I'm going to do that. Although I'm going to wait till I have 200 gold. I want to try to stay above. I want to keep that wealthy ruler bonus. I just ign ignore events like that. It doesn't even matter. They're just people, vassals, trying to plot for stuff. Surrender already. You're a very wise man. Lowborn Welshman. Okay. We can hold on to this one, sure. No real notable technology. 1.6 unimproved keeps, that's not bad. Okay, where to go now? Um, let's see, we can attack Ossery. This guy's excommunicated, might as well. This guy is excommunicated, might as well. It always helps to do excommunication wars just because it gives you more piety, which... Piety is good. This is a Russian Orthodox, so we should definitely take advantage of this claim that my Duke has. If he's gone through all the trouble of fabricating it, I should make use of it. I think 
this is the guy whose duchy I want to usurp. Oh, here's an idea. He is the... Oh, shoot. Nope, he's got two... He's got a titular title. Shoot. I was hoping if I usurped his duchy of Hylanov that he would just be demoted down to count level, allowing me to attack his count and then him separately, but he's got a titular duchy as well. So that's not going to work. Um, I am going to not do what I just said, and I'm going to spend my money to usurp the Duchy of Hylanov. And I'll lose, I think, that... I, I don't know. I, I might not lose that wealthy ruler thing. This is a four-county duchy. Do we have any English folk in charge? Saxon, English, Saxon, Saxon. Easy choice, then. The Duchy of Hylanov, congratulations. And what else? Tiumen here. How much power do you have, buddy? Didn't I say I was going to take a break from the Holy Wars? What am I doing over here? I just continue to attack. I can't help it. We'll just attack this huge guy over. Sure, that's a. I know for a fact from playing as the Duke of Bulgar. This is a very good duchy to get. Look at the technology over here. It's really strong. Really good stuff. So we'll take that duchy from him because it's the best. And if we're going to go to war with him, he's going to call in all of his Tengri allies. So we might as well attack all of the Tengri. Including this guy. Ideally the duchy right next door to this one. Looks like the closest one would be this one here. And this guy, sure. I've usurped your duchy, so we should do that. I'll take one county from you as we head south into that area. So basically, I'm going to sweep in. I'm going to send uh, just a very token small sum, maybe even just the men from these three counties, to take care of the two excommunicated rulers. We'll load up all of our men off the boats from England and from um, this duchy of Lower Lorraine or kingdom, or whatever you'd call it. We'll load them all up. We'll have the men from this conquested land start to rally around down this way. And you'll notice that the highlighted, s the highlighted areas, the ones that look like they're kind of pulsing, those are the ones that are most important to the war score. So I'm going to have these men head here, all of the northern men head here, and then the boats will come in and drop off reinforcements in one of these two counties. And then we'll swoop down to the south, and I'm going to wrap my way along probably this shore. So we're going to make it a pretty long conquest. We've already got quite a, few war, quite a few wars declared, but a number of them are just excommunication wars in single counties. Our two main enemies are going to be the Tumen up here, this high chief. He only has 3,600 men, so I'm not too worried about him. And then this guy, who has only 4,900. And right now I can raise you know, about 37,000. We'll almost definitely suffer attrition as we come into here. If you look at the supply limits, we're at like 7,000, so it could be tough. But I think I actually am going to declare a few more wars, like say this guy. Yeah, we'll take his primary duchy there, and then maybe, who's the highest? Apparently this guy is the highest level guy along the shore. Oh yeah, that's a big one. We'll take all that. And then how much land do you have? Single county guy? Oh yeah. Take your single county. This will be the most ambitious crusade. See, in my mind, if you're going to do a crusade, this is how you do a crusade. Attack as many people as possible. That is directly next to this, and all of the other ones seem to be just single counties, so we'll just do that. as a county claim on a Russian Orthodox. Over which county? Oh, it's a county claim on Neville. City. Oh, I see. So this city is held by... 
Okay, that's kind of weird. We might as well do that, since I'm going to be rallying right there anyway. Okay. <laughs> we declared war on almost everyone, so it's about time we actually start fighting. This is what happens when I say I'm going to take a break from all the holy wars and just go ahead and you know, deal with murdering boys. I end up declaring war on all of the eastern side of the co country. So, all right, well, in the next video, we'll see how well this plays out. We've got one, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 wars this time. So we'll see how we do. Thanks so much for watching. See you again in the next video.